This is why I don't really trust anyone. This man right here is known as Ed Gein, and he's also called the Butcher of Plainfield. Gein suffered a very hard childhood growing up. His father was an alcoholic, and his mother was extremely abusive towards him. But nevertheless, he actually idolized her. Gein's mother died in 1945, which ended up leaving him as a virtual hermit left alone in his house. He ended up boarding off every single room that his mother often occupied in the house to make, in a way, a virtual shrine for her attracted the attention of the police in 1957 because he was the last person seen with a hardware store owner who mysteriously disappeared. Police showed up at Gein's house. They were shocked at what was in there. It wasn't just the store owner in Gein's house that was dead, but there was also multiple bodies strewn about all over the place and pieces of furniture were made out of human skin. Gein's house was described by the police in the court as the house of horrors and ended up spending the rest of his life in a mental hospital.